we'll be talking about how to utilize the new BD help bot. So David, if it's okay with you, I can uh, pass over the reins and you can kind of lead us through this week's tip of the week. Absolutely. Very exciting stuff here. So it's essentially a, a new line of support for, uh, for everybody with a BD site. You can access it directly in the support center. There's an icon in the bottom right of your screen. That's the Brilliant Directory's light bulb. If you click that, it'll open up the chatbot window. So you can access it while you're in the support center. Also, while you're working on your website, while you're logged into the admin area, you'll see that same BD light bulb in the bottom right corner of your screen. You can click on that again to open up the chat window. And then also, if you happen to be within your account dashboard, instead at the top, there's a button that says BD help bot, and that will open up the chat window with the help bot. Before we dive into a bit more information about exactly how it all works and some use cases, we wanted to give you some tips on how you can get the most out of it. So the first thing is the source material of the chatbot. What information does it have access to? So it prioritizes the Brilliant Directory support documents, all of which can be found in the support center. It also prioritizes the articles that we have in our blog, tons of uh, additional information in there, mostly marketing and strategy related. So it prioritizes those two resources, but it also has access to the internet in general. So if you wanted to use it to conduct research, to generate content, Anything like that, you can use it for those purposes as well, but it does prioritize the BD support documents and our blog articles. Account details, it doesn't have access to your account information. So if you had a billing question or something related to your account itself, you'll still want to reach out to the support team directly, either by submitting a support ticket or emailing support at brilliantdirectories.com. Also keep in mind, it is still in beta mode. So it's still learning. We're still refining things. Still use it. It's a great first line of support. You'll probably get uh, some good responses and answers from it. But if it doesn't provide a totally accurate answer, you may still want to reach out to the support team in that case. Also, garbage in, garbage out. Some of you may be familiar with this phrase, but basically what we put into the chatbot is what we're going to get out. So we want to be as clear and concise and also thorough as possible. The more context we can provide in the questions that we're asking to the chatbot, the better the responses will be be as clear as possible and provide as much context and information as you can so it knows exactly what you're asking and exactly what you want. Coding and development. So far right now, it doesn't have access to BD's source code. So if you're asking for code modifications, you know, for specific elements on your BD website, it might provide some more uh, conceptual or abstract responses. So we're working on that, but keep in mind right now, it doesn't have access to the BD website source code. And then also this is using chat GPT-4 and you've basically got full access to it. So you can really ask it anything. You don't need to use it exclusively for uh, support for your BD site. You can ask it marketing related questions, questions about business strategy for membership or directory websites. You can also ask it to generate content, articles, social media posts. The possibilities really are endless with this. It's a great uh, first line of defense, sort of, if uh, you have a question regarding your BD site and you want to get some support, definitely ask it. It has a lot of information, but keep in mind it is still in beta. And then also one other thing, the chatbot, it can't look at your website, so it can't visually identify what might be going on. So again, there's certain circumstances where you're still going to want to reach out to the support team. Yeah, my favorite thing about this is that we're able to provide ChatGPT4 to BD customers all around the world. And then we are training it on the BD source code. So later when you ask it, say you want to do something on your profile page, if you can identify what that item is, uh, it will give you more reliable answers on what to do on your site to help you out with those things. Yeah, these are basically just the primary use cases of the chatbot. So like we mentioned for support, if you want to get some quick answers to uh, some basic questions, that you have while working on your website. Instead of having to search through the support center for a, a specific document that might provide the answer, you can just dive right on into uh, the help bot and uh, see if it can provide you the answer in less than a minute. 
Content creation, again, it's using ChatGPT4, so you can utilize the help bot to write you articles, social media posts. Also development, this is a bit more advanced. You really have to be pretty specific in terms of your inputs you know, for what you're asking the chatbot to provide you with, but it can generate a bunch of different code, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP, based on what you're looking to use it for. And then also research, again, just using it as chat GPT, it doesn't have to be something specific to your website. You can ask it really anything. It does have access to other online resources, not just the BD support resources. We're going to be working on improving it over time. Right now, it's, it's pretty powerful and it's only going to get better. 